Adjustment Clip is a tool in DaVinci Resolve that allows us to make changes or apply effects to either a specific part of a video or across multiple videos at once. We will look at a few common applications later on, but first, let's look at how Adjustment Clip actually works. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to actually locate the Adjustment Clip. To do that, we're going to click Effect Library, and under Effects, we're going to locate Adjustment Clip right there. And all we need to do right now is just simply drag and drop it on top of our existing video. So now that's the first thing to talk about here is that in order for adjustment clip to work, it has to be located on top of uh, uh, the video uh, which you want to apply changes to. Now the second thing to talk about is the duration of the adjustment clip. So right now the clip as it stands will only affect this very specific part of the video. And if you want the changes to apply to a much broader range of video footage, in the timeline, all we need to do is to extend the duration of the adjustment clip. So right now, if we do that, so now this video will, this video clip will get affected. And uh, if we further extend it, now these two video clips that fall underneath it will get affected. And if we further extend our adjustment clip so that it covers the entire timeline. Now, every single video right now in our timeline is going to get affected by the changes that we apply through adjustment clip. So these are the two things uh, that uh, to understand. Um, and uh, now we're going to move on to look at a few common applications from my experience, and that will help us understand how to apply, how to use adjustment uh, clip much better. In the first scenario, we're going to look at how to apply some basic video edits that you found underneath the inspector panel through our adjustment clip. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our adjustment clip is selected. And once we select our adjustment clip, all we need to do right now is to go to the inspector panel of our adjustment clip. And we can, let's say right now, make some changes to the zoom setting. So we're going to zoom out a little bit. And once we finish that, we will see that now all the video clips that fall under this adjustment clip will have this same zoomed out look. Another change we can make is the precision property. So let's say right now we want to move the video a little bit over to the left. And once we finish that, you will see that once again, all these videos will share the same change, will share the same effect. Another common change you can apply here is cropping. I do this a, a, a quite a bit myself, is cropping the top and cropping the bottom so that you know this gives it that cinematic look. So once we do that, again, you will see that all these video clips that fall underneath the adjustment clip will have the same cinematic look. This is just a very quick and easy way to apply changes uh, that you find commonly under the inspector panel uh, through your adjustment clip to your videos. In the second scenario, we're going to look at how to apply color correction or color grading uh, to our, our videos uh, at once. So now I'm going to select uh, the adjustment clip. And once it's selected, we're going to take it to the color page. I want to give it a, like a desaturated, highly contrasted look. So to do that, we're going to bring our saturation uh, setting all the way to the bottom, all the way to zero. And we're going to bring up the contrast setting a little bit. So now, once we finish all these changes, we're just going to take it back to the edit page. So you will now see that all these videos will share the same look. And this is just a, such a quick and easy way to apply color correction or color grading uh, to your videos. One last scenario we're going to look at is applying fusion effects through our adjustment clip. So to do that, uh, make sure our adjustment clip is selected. Then let's take it to the fusion page. And once we're on the Fusion page, we're going to go ahead and add the text node. And under the text node, we're going to write up our text first. And then we're going to make some changes to the text size so that it's, it's, it stands out more to us. And then we're all, we can also apply some additional effect as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply the blur effect to the background video there so that this way the text itself as the foreground is going to further stand out to us. And once we're done with all these changes, let's take it back to the edit page. And you will see that now this fusion effect is applied unanimously to all these videos on our timeline that fall under the adjustment clip. So these are 
uh, three common applications from my experience. And I want to talk about another thing, another reason why I think uh, adjustment clip is advan advantageous is the fact that right now, let's say we don't want this fusion effect to take effect, uh, to be applied to this video, you will see that all we need to do is to adjust the, dura uh, the duration of the adjustment clip, and this video itself no longer has that fusion effect. Just like that. It's so quick and easy, and this goes for all the changes that you apply through adjustment clip. And if you want to apply it back, again, all you need to do is just a, a, a extend the duration of the adjustment clip so that it covers this video and now the effect is applied right back. Okay guys, let's look at uh, one last thing before we wrap up our video. So the last thing I want to talk about here is uh, it's just a nuance that uh, you may run into, you may encounter as you start applying, uh, as you start to use this adjustment clip in your video editing. So let's say, you know, we have this scenario right here where we're applying a change uh, to all the videos that fall underneath uh, the, the our adjustment clip. And then let's say you, you have an idea about a particular individual clip that you want to apply some additional changes to, but you only want these changes to be applied to this particular video clip, right? The one thing to keep in mind right now, everything you do is on top of the changes that you already apply through adjustment clip. So as you can see right now, when I adjust the crop top setting, initially you see no impact at all. Only as you move much further down the spectrum, you start to see changes. That's because there's already, the changes that you apply through the adjustment clip is now the benchmark, is now the base. And this goes for any other um, you know, the changes or effects that you apply through adjustment clips. So for example, uh, if we apply color grading or color, uh, uh, color correction uh, uh, changes to, uh, to our video, uh, say right now I want to apply a tint, a bluish tint, um, a very dark bluish tint to all the videos. And now let's say you have an idea about this particular individual clip that you want to uh, apply, for, apply some further color changes. So let's say, say right now we just continue to apply more, uh, apply another blue tint on top of it. So you'll see now that it gets just so dark because now you've already, you already had that blue tint, now you're just applying more on top of it. So if we reset the setting, you will see that now, this is actually our base. So everything you do is, is on top of the change that you already made through the adjustment clip. So that's something I wanna just bring out. Uh, I wanna talk about before we wrap up the video, something to keep in mind as you, uh, as you make changes uh, to, uh, through your adjustment clip. All right guys, I will see you in the next video.